The Dwell Design Leaders film series is brought to you by HP. The computer is personal again. When my husband and I started looking for a place to live in the Bay Area, we couldn't find anything that we liked. We couldn't find anything that was green. We couldn't find anything that we could afford. And it seemed like there were no options other than the thoughtless subdivisions or the $600,000 teardown. And that's when we thought, naively so, luckily naively so, maybe we can just build something for ourselves. So when you come out to our house, it's in some ways difficult to see because we've used a core 10 steel siding. It's very visually quiet. The velvet kind of texture nestles the house into the landscape. But what's great is it's zero maintenance, so we don't have to paint it or refinish it ever. In some ways it looks a little bit like a barn because we have incorporated strategies from barn structures where we have the wood sunshades that go on the barn door tracks. We had friends and colleagues who saw what we were doing and said, oh, Michelle, this is great. Can you do something like this for us as well? And I thought, that's a really good question. Could we make this house in mass production? And that's when I found this whole amazing world of off-site technology and realized, yeah, we could make this in mass production. How we build buildings is so antiquated in, in so many ways because I think we've had this misconception, preconception that prefab is substandard because in the US we have the trailer homes. Whereas in other countries, in places like Australia and Japan, there, if you're doing a high-end home, you want it built in a factory. You want it using precision cutting in a controlled environment. By using a modular construction, we can achieve 50 to 75% less waste. With framing, for example, we can keep cutting down the framing and using it until it gets so small, and then we can use it for uh, blocking for towel bar holders. And once it gets too small for that, then we can use the sawdust to help heat the factory. So this really allows so many efficiencies for how we can really get the most out of the materials. So this is using all grid goose bottles. We're doing these instead of river rocks for zen gardens, for zen pools, water catchment pools. We're also using countertops made of recycled paper, like paper stone. This material was actually developed about 20 years ago for skateboard ramps. Once we start to rethink how we can use materials that are typically put in the landfills, there's some pretty beautiful alternatives. The model that we see here is a one bedroom, one module version of the Lotus, which is 700 square feet. We also have a two module, two bedroom version. We have a two story version. So there's uh, a lot of flexibility for how we can compose this and put these together. In the Lotus design, what I'm most excited about is that we've been able to achieve zero energy use and zero wastewater. On the slope portion of the roof, we do solar. On the flat portion of the roof, we do a living roof system where it's pre-planted plants that come in two foot by two foot pre-planted containers. What that does is it helps with insulation, it helps the house stay cool because it absorbs the warmth, plus it takes the rainwater and helps with runoff. Any additional rainwater that comes from the roof then goes down into this water catchment system that's also a reflecting pool. That water then goes to irrigate the landscape, so it's getting the most out of everything that's used. Technology is key to really making this work. This is something I'm pretty excited about where technology can really help people when they're trying to dream or imagine what they might do. So what they can do is go to Google SketchUp they can download one of our pre-configured designs, take the model, and actually put it into their site. They have the whole material palettes, so they can even change materials. So that way they can look around, see how it fits in the landscape, and dream. Our goal is to make thoughtful, sustainable design that's accessible to more people and hopefully soon accessible to all. It's using the model of trying to provide good design for the masses because really everyone should be able to own a green, sustainable, healthy home.